Godzilla Kong The New Empire dominated the Easter weekend box office. Becoming in its first few days already the third highest grossing film of this young year, the greatest first weekend box office out of all the MonsterVerse movies so far. And ultimately guys, it's pretty dang clear, monsters are the most popular they've ever been. So if you wanted the MonsterVerse to continue, well, looks like we're headed in that direction. And we already have an idea of what the sequel to Godzilla Kong The New Empire could be. All of you hardcore Godzilla fans are going to love what director Adam Wingard has to say about his next idea for a MonsterVerse story, so smack that subscribe button and leave the video a like to get the algorithm all fired up so more MonsterVerse fans can see the big news. Now when asked by discussing films if there could be a Wingard trilogy of MonsterVerse movies, this is what he had to say. The whole idea that if you've done two movies, like, maybe you should just go ahead and do a third because, as you said, there's a trilogy in there. I definitely think there's more story to this and I think I have more story to tell. But it just depends on how Godzilla Kong The New Empire does and how things kind of shape out. I know that sounds like a bullshit diplomatic answer, but the truth is, if I'm going to be completely honest with you, I do have more story to tell with these monsters and I know where I'd go with it. I would be very excited to be able to come back on for another one if things worked out. And I think Fate is agreeing with Adam here because unless the new Empire just randomly stops making money, the movie's no doubt gonna do well enough to warrant a follow-up, especially considering that this was the cheapest MonsterVerse movie to make yet, with a respectable blockbuster budget of allegedly around $135 million. And this is what Adam is thinking for his third MonsterVerse movie, at least at this point in his mind. He says, I definitely have some ideas of where they could go. And the way that Kong is treated in this movie, if this movie is successful, I think that the next movie will be the Godzilla version of what we did with this movie. Kind of pushing deeper into his story. But Kong's story is still just beginning, even though I think he is coming to his own as the king to a certain degree. He's not going to be a Scar King type of ruler. He's not a dictator of any kind. And to see how Kong will work with this group and how he himself will be a leader, I think it'll be very interesting because I don't think it'll be all that straightforward. Now I love watching Kong be the lead of the MonsterVerse, but it's safe to say that a lot of Godzilla fans are starting to become restless with the big G-Man playing second fiddle. And it would be nice to finally make the next movie allow Godzilla to be the true star again. And it's not like Kong's gonna go anywhere if they do this, he's just gonna be down in the Hollow Earth focusing on becoming a leader and ruling all these Kongs, hopefully in a way not like the Scar King. We know Kong, he's a nice guy, he's not gonna be like that. And I would love to see more of the Kong culture, and see the apes roaming free in the Hollow Earth now that the Scar King is dead. Because I assume the Kongs will have access to more of the Hollow Earth without the fear of Godzilla interfering now. It kind of feels like Godzilla's beef with the Kongs has been settled now that the Scar King is dead. But what would Godzilla's story actually be? Well, it's entirely too early to say. But at this point in the MonsterVerse, we almost need to see Godzilla's story, his true purpose, come to fruition in this potential final Adam Wingard MonsterVerse movie. I'm not saying he needs to die, I'm just saying he needs some sort of closure, like coming full circle with his story. Myself, personally, could probably go on another couple decades watching Godzilla do his thing he's been doing in the MonsterVerse. But being realistic, I doubt we can continue this style of Showa-era filmmaking much longer in this universe before people start getting tired of it. Legendary Godzilla needs to have his big act, even bigger than his battle against Ghidorah. And whatever idea Adam has in his head, it's probably wild, wacky, and fun. I'm all down for that. But we're just gonna have to wait and see how it all plays out because it is still way too damn soon to be talking about a sequel, even though we probably are going to get one. But anyway, I thought you guys would enjoy hearing that the next MonsterVerse movie could very well follow Godzilla. So, if that does happen, let's kind of get some ideas going. What do you think Godzilla should do in his very own MonsterVerse movie again? How do you think the story would play out? Let me know down in the comments. As always, everyone, this has been Jacob. Thanks for hanging out with me today in Dangerville. And if you guys want more casual news updates like this, let me know down in the comments. I'm really curious if I should make more videos like this, you know, like showing my, my face and all that stuff. So anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one.